Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odo technical developer so in today's video we are going to talk about the computed fields uh, uh, so far uh, so far field has been stored directly in the database and retrieved directly from the database uh, like so far we have discussed only about the fields that are stored in the database and uh, the values are directly retrieved from from the database when we uh, when we display the uh, record so fields can be computed so computed fields are not stored actually in the database but it is computed uh, using a computed method uh, and it is just uh, displayed on the view okay so to create a computed field what you need to do is to just uh, create a normal field and then you just need to set the compute attribute and uh, you need to add uh, the name of the method uh, where the value of the field is computed so the computation method should simply set the value of the field to compute on every record in self so uh, you this is just uh, something that you need uh, to keep in mind is that self is a collection so self can have more than one record and the object self is a record set like record set means a collection of records like multiple uh, collection of records it support that standard python operation on collection like uh, you can uh, if you want to get the total number of records you can just use the python uh, len function to get uh, the length of the total number of records you can use iter function and you can also use the set functions to aid or append to uh, sets or to uh, records okay so either or self gives the records one by one in uh, like uh, this means that in case of uh, compute function you need to use uh, the for loop or the self record because self can have multiple records so if you don't use the self function you will get the error message which i will show you uh, where uh, each record is itself a collection of size one okay so you can access assign fields on single record by uh, using the dot notation something like a record dot name okay so here is a simple test model that has been added and a, a simple field has been added which is a computed field so you just need to use for the computed field at uh, the the extra thing that you need to add is uh, compute is equal to compute name and uh, the compute name is actually the method that is defined inside the model where uh, you need to use the for loop to go through each record and you need to save uh, the value of this uh, uh, compute function in the field where you have added the compute attribute okay so uh, in order to do uh, do this we have an exercise uh, so what we need to do is we need to add a percentage field uh, of taken seats uh, to the session model and then we need to display the tree view and form view and uh, then we need to add a progress bar okay so first of all what we need to do is to add uh, a percent percentage field so in order to do so we need to go to the py file uh, where we need to add like in the session model so we can add uh, taken seats like this field is equal to so like uh what should be the type of the field so uh, as you know that uh percentage can be uh, a floating point value so you need to add uh, a float type field and here we need to add the first attribute is string which is the label of the field so here we need to add like taken seats and say and then compute is the attribute that is used uh, to define the computed field and here uh, we need to add uh, the computed method so compute uh, taken seats so why we added this underscore at the start of the method because um, adding this underscore at the start of the method makes this method private so we have added this uh, so that no one can access it outside this model uh, so and then we need to add the uh, method like uh, compute taken seats 
and here uh, the self self will be passed by default self is uh, the card self so here we need to use like uh, a for loop so here we can use like session in self so self we, uh, is a record set of like multiple records and here we need to save the value inside the session uh, field session dot taken seats is equal to so how we can find uh, the uh, discount so we need to find the formula so the formula for this purpose is like uh, you can say uh, like seats taken seats taken uh, divided by total seats multiplied by uh, so here we need to use multiplied by 100 okay so this is the formula so first of all we need to uh, calculate the taken seats so in order to uh, uh, calculate the taken seats we have this uh, attendee ids so attendee ids are the total number of uh, seats taken so here it attendee id is also a record set so here we need to use like to access this we need to use session dot uh, uh, attendee ids and here we need to use like a total number of uh, uh, attendees so we can use a len function to calculate the total number of records inside this attendee ids and total seats is uh, seats like number of seats uh, where we can uh, edit uh, like session dot uh, seats okay so seats is actually the uh, seats uh, that are available total seats are available okay so this is uh, it how this is simply just you can add the computed field but here one thing uh, one problem can uh, come that if the total number of seats is a zero then it we will get an error message like uh, division by zero so here we can add a condition if uh, session dot seats is equal to zero and uh, then we need to save the uh, value like session dot taken seats is equal to zero this is it and here we need to add the else and the, the this code needs to be added inside the else condition okay so uh, in this case you will not get any uh, error message so let me just uh, start Udo service and uh, go to uh, browser and let me try to access the database like this and uh, we will have to add this field inside the uh, XML also, so we need to go to the views dot XML file, okay. And here, this is the the form view of a uh, session uh, like session model. So here, let me log into the database. And so uh, here we will add a field uh, like field name is equal to uh, taken seats. Just uh, close it okay and login to the database so after the uh, database login we need to upgrade this module like od open academy and uh, okay so let's just uh, wait uh, so that we can log into the database successfully and then uh, we will try to upgrade the module to see uh, the change okay so the the database has been loaded and let me go to the apps and uh, so here uh, we cannot access to the open academy module because we don't have access to it so we need to activate the debug mode uh, and then we need to activate the super user uh, to access this because we have not yet added the x uh, the, the access rights for the model so we will add uh, the x security related things in the uh, access rights sections so uh, go to the apps and this is the module that we need to upgrade so uh, click the upgrade button to upgrade the module and uh, then uh, after the module upgrade we need to go to the open academy module and we will see the change okay so 
Open Academy, then Session. So here, let me open these sessions. So here you can see, like a total number of seats is 40, and taken seats are one, two, three, four. So it is four. So the percentage it shows is like 10. Okay. So this is how you can easily add. Uh, so if I try to change this like uh, to 50, so you will see that uh, uh, that this is not changing automatically, but it will change when we save this value. Okay. So you can see it changed when we save the value. So this is one problem that we need to discuss, like how we can make it uh, to calculate uh, on the fly. Like when we change the value, it should calculate automatically. So for this purpose, uh, dependencies are used like dependencies are used so the value of a computer field usually depends on the values of other fields on the computed record so like in this case so if i open the python file so in this case this taken seats uh, field value is dependent on two fields one is like attendee ids which is that uh, the total number of uh, people that attended the session and the other one is seats uh, available so total number of seats available so it depends on two fields uh, so whenever you make any change inside any of these two fields like uh, total number of seats are uh, attendees so this value should recompute so in order to do so we need to add uh, dependencies so the ORM expects the developer to specify those dependencies on the compute method with the decorator app depends okay so what is decorator we will discuss the given dependencies are used by the ORM to trigger the recomputation of the field whenever some of its dependencies have been modified so here we need to add uh, the decorator which is like uh, which will make the uh, method recompute so in order to uh, decorate a method we use API so here first of all you need to import API and then you can use the uh, api here like api dot depends and inside the depends we need to define the met the fields that uh, that needs to be uh, that needs to trigger this method so first depends is like attendee ids and the next uh, uh, is seats so these are two actual fields so keep in mind that the dependent fields like the fields on which the computed uh, method is dependent should be the stored field so it should be stored inside the database otherwise this method will not uh, trigger okay so uh, then what we need to do is uh, restart our service and we will uh, have to go to the view and let me just refresh the page so after the page refresh we will see uh, whenever you change any of these value like the number of seats are the uh, attendees uh, the method will recompute so let me try to change it to uh, 60 okay and then let's focus here so here you can see it changed automatically and if i change uh, anything here like let me uh, add some more attendees select it so here you can see it increases automatically so this is the benefit of dependencies uh, and uh, the decorator which makes the method trigger automatically so uh, this is it for uh, this video and uh, like uh, uh, so one thing which we need to add is like the progress bar so in case of percentage we need to add a progress bar so for this purpose in the xml we need to use a widget so uh, this is like how you can add the widget widget name here you need to add the name of the widget which is progress bar like this and then as we just made the change inside the xml so we we just need to upgrade the module but in order to upgrade the module we need to go to the apps and click the upgrade button to upgrade the module and after the module upgrade we will see the progress bar instead of just uh, the percentage field so let me just uh, wait for the module upgrade and okay so the module has been upgraded oh, let me go to the open academy and uh, then a session 
sessions and let me open this okay here you can see the progress bar has been added like it is built by 13 percent so if we change it back to 40 so you will see it will uh, increase the value so as you can see the progress bar increases so uh in order to uh talk about some more thing like the self like why we use the uh like why why we use this uh, sesh, uh self uh, uh for each loop so this is because uh like it can have uh multiple uh records the self can have multiple records and uh you need to use uh the for loop to uh calculate the value for each record like uh here in the tree view we have like uh three records so in this case the, the self will have three records and you need to go through each session to calculate the value for each session and save the value inside the taken series so this is it for this video in the next video we will discuss uh about uh, the art change function and default values so uh, so please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you